Do I remind you of Tom Cruise? What are your thoughts? Absolutely. Let me see the uh, side shot of you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, give me the profile because Cruise has the, 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 the yes, a thousand percent. <laughs> Perfect. Um, there are some amazing cameos in this. I feel like when you pick up the phone, people answer. Is that the case? Well, not every time. There are there's certain cast members that were the fourth to, uh, phone call because three others didn't answer. But uh, most, no, these are people who are my friends. Tim, just talk to me about working with everyone back on this movie because obviously there was so many of your friends. Do you guys keep a straight face? Do you knock back a few cocktails? Oh, I'm always knocking back a few cocktails. I don't tell the other actors that. That's between <laughs> me and my bartender. <laughs> um, now, in the film, Adam has this utility thermos that does all mm -hmm. kinds of things. If Julie Bowen was going to have a magical thermos, what would that thermos do, Julie Bowen? First of all, it would have something that could, like, stop boys from smelling. Because I have three boys in my house and with homeschool and everything else. It's like, there's a constant musty odor. So we might have, like, some sort of, like like a like a air freshener aspect to it and it wouldn't be terrible if it made me a cocktail okay now maya I, i'm gonna set the scene there's gonna be freddy krueger okay michael myers and a crazy ass karen who would you run away from first and why i don't f with freddy krueger or the other guy i hate <laughs> or michael myers <laughs> i am terrified of them karen I mean, Karen's definitely the scariest because the other ones, you can turn off the TV and you don't have to see it anymore. Karen, she's right there at Starbucks, so. <laughs> Is there anything that still haunts you to this day, Adam Sandler? Any auditions or eighth grade or what still haunts Adam? I did uh, make, uh, not make it to the bathroom several times uh, in elementary school. First grade, I remember a couple of mishaps. I had to call my mother and ask her to come down with underwear. Second grade, I think it went down to one time. Third grade, a little pee pee action. <laughs> Finally, can you take us out with a song with a little guitar? Can you take us out with a little guitar? That's all I got. Not bad, right? Adam, thank you so much. Now, if you were going to dress up as another celebrity for Halloween, mm. who would you be and why? Well, I feel like this year, it, you know, you're, I, I was already Ruth Bader a few years ago. I did RBG, um, rest in peace, a while ago. Um, I feel like this year, if there was going to be a Halloween parties and everything, I feel like everybody is going Joe, Joe Exotic. Um, I feel like it's an easy one. Um, Carol Baskin, maybe. Uh, I did, I had a, a, a run where I was only trying to be people on food packages. I was the Morton salt girl, uh, I tried to do the brawny paper towel guy. Um, and no one, nobody recognized Betty Crocker. It's just, you know, sometimes you need, and then, and then it was completely not okay. Not only was it not okay to be the Land of Lakes um, Native American woman, they took her right off the package. So thank you world for stopping me from making that error and posting it on somewhere on Instagram. Man, that's a very good question. Oh, I mean, I can at certain angles pull off Bob Dylan. So I guess I throw on a Dylan wig. I could and see I that. I could see that. Yeah, if, if Dylan liked in and out Burger. <laughs> yeah. Tim, first of all, I need to point this out, that Maya and I are both esteemed UC Santa Cruz college graduates. So, right. I'm, yep. I'm impressed and, you know, and jealous. What can I say? <laughs> you're jealous that you're not a banana slug. You should be. <laughs> um, Maya, do I remind you of Tom Cruise in this outfit? Let's get No, I was going to say, Ma is it Maverick? What's his name? That's the other guy? I don't know. I don't I think th this says Maverick, so that's who I am. Ding, 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 ding. You might be Val Kilmer, or what's the other guy's name? I don't know. I can't remember. 
Um, but that goes to my first question is, and I'll start with Maya. If you were going to be a celebrity for Halloween, mm. who would you be and why? Uh, where do I start? Anywhere. Uh, okay, let me think. What was uh, this year? Like right, right now? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've anyone. never been. I've never been Dolly Parton. Ooh. There's always room for Dolly part for, but I want to be Dolly from nine to five. Okay, nine to five, mm -hmm. Dolly. Tim, Tim, how about you? A celebrity, would I be? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prince, maybe. Was that what you were dressed up as, Prince? Right in. Yeah, I did in one of the grown up movies. Yeah. yeah. Me and Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, I would probably say Angelina Jolie, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, because I love her and I, I love that movie. Um, I just need need a Brad Pitt, but. <laughs> <laughs> and boys, who would you be? Honestly, I feel like I would dress up as like The Rock. I feel like that would be so cool. Like just put on a huge like buff suit and just pretend to be The Rock. And yeah, like I would do that. That works. I I think for me, probably, uh, ooh, um, you know what? We've been talking about this a lot, but probably Spider-Man, because I used to dress up as, as uh, Spider-Man a bunch um, when I was younger, but like uh, like the old original Spider-Man films, you know, you got to go with the classics. Valid, 100% valid. Um, now, this is not your first rodeo with Adam Sandler. You two have worked together in the past, although I will say now both of you ha have a lot more money than way back then. Than way back then. I don't, um, do we, uh, Adam and I both, we worked together 20 some years ago in Happy Gilmore. You know, it's a lot easier to save money when you're single. Um, we both have a bunch of kids now. So you know, they, they do eat through, they do eat through the finances pretty fast. Um, I'm like, I could be mistaken for a Karen very quickly. I have to be very careful. Gotta really be careful. I don't want to go Karen. Well, you're also, it would be like, Julie Bowen on TMZ goes freaking Karen. Goes I full mean, Karen. Yeah. What, what would I have to do? I, I have to ask for the manager and um, just whatever and demand special treatment, right? And don't wear a mask. Don't even think about wearing a mask. <laughs> I don't understand. I, I don't what you it. don't see is my other pillow is my Fouch on the couch pillow. So I'm a huge, uh, I'm a huge Anthony Fauci supporter. So sorry, Karen, I don't get it. Me neither. Thank you, Julie, so much. Thank you. Stay Thank safe. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you too. Talk to me, because this is this is your third kind of uh, holiday-themed film. Now, yeah. I, am, I am also a Jewish person, so I want to know, where's my Purim movie, Purim movie, Adam? Where's my Passover movie? Where's my Yom Kippur movie? Like, what, what? Help they're me all, out here. They're all coming. Uh, uh, first, let me finish my circus script. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> we'll, we'll get to all, everything you need, but just give me time, man. I, I got to write this shit. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Talk to me about the Hubie voice because can you teach me a little on how can I do there, the Hubie voice? You, I know you have it in you. It's, it's basically a, a man who sticks up for himself just low enough that no one can hear him. So it's a, just a slight little mutter. E. E. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's just a. It's a natural thing that you learn in Hebrew school. Don't worry. You're, 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 it's um, I want to know what still haunts, haunts you guys to this day. Like, is it like the eighth grade? Is it like a bad audition? What's something that still haunts you to this day? Honestly, bad I, have, I have an answer, but I'm not gonna say. It. Oh no, that's the one. That's the one I need. That's the one I want you to say. I feel like it's an ex relationship. Yeah. <laughs> the past relationships. There you go. He knows. <laughs> Gentlemen, what? what haunts you? I'm gonna go deep here on the QB junket. Ooh, probably uh, like me. Like I don't know. Five years ago, I don't, I don't like looking at myself. Yeah, anything before yesterday. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> anything before yesterday haunts me. 
Um, I'm, I agree with Noah. I'm in constant shame of like, mm. I, I, if I hear stories about myself, I'm like, I did that. Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now, you're in an Adam Sandler movie. I know, I, I, no, one, no one can say anything now. <laughs> Final question, very important. Do you guys get free Netflix memberships out of this thing? When you're in a Netflix film, do you get some free Netflix stuff? I mean, we should. I mean, I pay for them. To I the Netflix publicist listening, come on, please. Wink, Look wink. <laughs> Noah? You know what you do get, though? I have a, uh, my profile picture is of myself in. Um, Same! So that's pretty cool. There well, you thanks go. for rubbing it in, guys. Thanks for rubbing <laughs> <Yeah>. it in. <laughs>